Hello Libra, welcome to your mini love reading for May. Take what applies to you only and if you enjoy this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So Libra, let's start out by getting the energy between you and your person. And of course, not just any energy, we're going to be using the major arcana so that we can focus on what has shifted in your connection based on the energy of eclipse season, okay? So what has eclipse season ushered into your world um, energetically? What do we have for Libra, please? Judgment. Libra, why isn't judgment a Libra card? I feel like it should be. <laughs> um judgy energy I feel like is definitely Libra's forte and I say that because I'm a Libra okay and uh, most of you may not know this but I actually used to judge pageants I actually used to compete in pageants before I was a judge um but yes, I used to judge pageants and it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. But anyways, sorry for the little side story, but we know judgment is about resurrection of the past, okay? Or things coming back around to be reviewed. Sometimes judgment is a decision that needs to be made, right? A judgment call. But I'm focusing on this angel blast and their little horn, okay? And I'm also thinking of... I'm picturing um, Ralph breaks the internet where she blows the leaf blower into his mouth and he's like, I'm going to wreck it. And his cheeks are like, like shaking. Um, <laughs> like that's how hard the energy is coming in. Okay. That's sort of the vibe I'm picking up on Libra. So this could definitely be highlighting a connection that maybe you thought was dead and done. Um, and spirit is bringing it back around, back in your face, okay? And not just yours, but your person's too, right? We're talking about a mutual energy here. So there could have there could have been or there will be um, something that happens here, which is divinely guided, right? And you are going to be kind of led to this point where it's going to come up. Okay, and it's going to be blasted in your face and you're going to need to decide, you're going to need to um, address or again, review the situation for whatever it's worth. So in regards to your person, you know, this could just be um, memories, uh, things coming back up, decisions that they've already made. And uh, this could be like spirit saying it's time to face the music. Okay. So what do we have from the minor arcana in regards to how Libra's person is feeling in regards to this shift? You guys, I cannot. So Libra, your person's feelings about you and this connection is the two of cups. So man what is it with these people from the past who want to come back around thinking that like you're their perfect mate or something I don't get it like why why wasn't Libra good enough before why do we need the judgment energy to come in for the two of hearts to be felt I just I don't understand so let's let's continue and see if we can get any additional information here two of hearts is about union it's about balance, mutual respect and love, um, just cups being full on both ends. And you can see these two swans here, obviously representing a soul connection. Um, and you can see everything's in twos here, okay? Everything. So Libra, maybe you've been seeing um, things in pairs leading up to this eventual judgment moment between you and this person. But this person definitely feels like you and them are, it's like I don't want to say it, but this is what's coming to my mind, you guys. This person feels like you're perfect for each other, okay? That is what they're feeling. They feel like this would be a smart match. They feel like essentially you and them are the same, okay? And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. This person um, feels like you and them are supposed to come together and be together, okay? So what is this person's likely actions based on this energy? The Eight of Swords. Oh my God, Libra. So even though this person feels like you and them are like perfect for each other, this person is going to let their mind control their actions here, 
all right? So this person could very well be an air sign or potentially a Virgo. And I say that because this is a card of overthinking and overanalyzing to the point of physically making yourself stuck. So this person is, they're sabotaging themselves. They're allowing their mind to, to take over and create fear. Um, and honestly, too, the Eight of Swords can be like a little bit of a victim mentality. So... I don't know. This person has a lot going on in their mind and they they are they are trapped or stuck. That is how they're acting. They're acting like they can't make any decisions or they can't communicate or they can't say how they really feel. They can't move from where they are. Eight of Swords. Man, what a messed up mentality this person, this poor person, okay? Um sometimes it's really hard for people to get out of their heads, and I think that that's what's happening with your person, Libra, and and don't come for me. I didn't mean to say your person because I know some of y'all are like I don't claim this person and that's fine but <clears throat> listen to my throat crack a lack <laughs> obviously a lot to be said about this energy okay so Libra what is the outcome here between you and this person we're gonna shuffle up a little bit more because I don't know <laughs> oh Libra you really could be connecting with the Virgo, okay? Lots of the same energy kind of popping up between you and the Virgo reading. And uh, again, more air sign energy here representing could be you, right? This person could be all in a mind funk over you and your energy. Prince of Swords is someone rushing in with something to say, but it's something they really haven't thought a lot about. This is an impulsive conversation. Um, this is also someone possibly putting their foot in their mouth. Um, this is also someone who maybe comes across as kind of rude, um, blunt, just very like, I'm hearing off-putting. So Libra, this person and you may have may have or will have an interaction, okay, where there's a very tough conversation that needs to be had. Um, wounded with words is what I'm hearing. Wounded with words. So reverse roles if necessary. But someone is, is going to be wounded with words here. And again, there's going to be a very impulsive conversation that happens based on, I think, what's going on here. And, you know, I think really this self-sabotage energy is going to really mess it up for this person because really they feel like you're their perfect person, you're their perfect match. But the way that they're communicating is terrible. It's horrible, Libra. I'm not going to lie. It's bad. Okay, so I'm going to get a clarity card here because I feel like this reading is just so similar to the Virgo reading. What's the clarity here? I'm going to cut and cut again. I'm going to spread them. Clarity is the Prince of Pentacles. So the, the why behind this, I think that this person, once more, we have Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think that this person is the type that really is just a slow mover, okay? And I'm picturing a turtle in my mind. So this person is a slow mover. They don't like to make mistakes. They're very meticulous and they're very dedicated to their, um, their work, to their life, to their finances, whatever, right? Whatever they're dedicated to, this person is is investing in that, but they're slow to take action. So I think that this person um, coming up as two princes here, a prince to clarify a prince, I think this person has a lot of maturing to do. And uh, even though this person may feel this love, they may feel that, that you and them are perfect for each other, they need to figure out how to communicate first. And I think this Prince of Pentacles is just a reminder that it's going to be a while before they figure out those things because that's just their personality, okay? I think that that's the, the issue here is just that's how they are. They operate very slowly. They're not very quick to catch up um, and they don't have a very um, quick mental dexterity, okay? I think this person really struggles to take themselves out of their mind where all of their fears and their doubts and everything exist. So very interesting. Oh my God, Libra. 
four of wands at the bottom of the deck as I collect the cards. So again, you could very well be connecting with the Virgo. I do feel that the underlying energy here, and, and maybe you don't want to admit it, maybe you do, um, but I think that you and this person could definitely both have wanted at one time, okay, this energy, this union. I think that both of you kind of saw that two of cups as well okay I think you both saw that the two of you would be able to build a stable and happy um, foundation together and I think that the both of you sort of felt this vibe of soul connection too we know that the four of wands represents union and 1111 energy so oh my gosh you guys and <laughs> I'm gonna slide it over because the card that was falling off of the major arcana is the hermit so just to clarify, I think that the majority of you watching this are definitely dealing with a Virgo or have had or have some Virgo placements. So um, let's talk about what's to come. What do we need to see in regards to challenges or blockages here between you and this person, even though I think this person's mind is the blockage. So we've got the death card. Ending, transformation, change, new beginning, releasing patterns, sudden upheaval, blessing in disguise and separation. So I think what's going to be happening here for this person is they are going to be going through a major death and rebirth. Um, they could be releasing something or an ending could be happening currently based on the lunar eclipse, right? Lunar eclipses bring about endings. So there's something about this person that they need to shed away. And I'm hearing something inside has died and I can't hide it. I just can't shake it. What song is that? Oh no. What song is that? I haven't heard that song in ages, but that's what's coming to my mind. Something inside of them has died. Um, and I think it's because Things have ended between the two of you. And I think that these retrogrades and this energy has sort of forced you back into this person's life. And now these changes are going to be happening, whether they like it or not. The other card that popped out was the crystal. So healing, metaphysical properties, stabilizing power, light, purity, faith, perfection, heavenly energy. So I do think that your person, again, I say your person and I cringed when I said it. So I know there's someone watching that's like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I think this person is definitely going to be going through a healing phase. Um, they could even start to research or learn about metaphysical healing and things of that nature, especially if that's something you're into, Libra. Um, I think this person is going to be shifting a lot over the course of the next couple of weeks. Let's get one more card from this deck and then we'll get messages. Oh my God. Libra. How did we get the judgment card again? <laughs> So again, this is clarification. This is just the cards confirming the cards. And we have this word here, atonement. And what I say before, I think this person, um, they might have to start facing the music here, okay? Um, we've got life calling, inner calling, awakening and reflection, rebirth, reckoning. So I do think that all of this that's happening, the reason that things are being thrown back up in both of y'all's faces is because... It's supposed to be. It just, it's supposed to be. It's a part of this person's awakening. It's a part of your awakening. Um, whether you want to, like I said, whether you want to admit it or acknowledge it or not, that is what I'm seeing here, okay? And let's get some messages from this person. What is it that they're wanting to say to you? Dang, we've got a lot trying to come out here. I'm trying to be honest about my feelings, but I've never been good at expressing them. Okay, yep, we saw that. Oop. We also have, I should have fought for us, but I was afraid and I ran. I want to make things right. And being apart from you made me realize how important you are to me. I have felt so lost without you. So, Libra coming back around because it needs to come back around okay this person has a lot of feelings for you that maybe they're not able to admit or maybe they never told you um but 
it, it's coming back around because it needs to be addressed. And I just saw 1444 on the clock, okay? So obviously there's something divinely guided about this connection coming back around for review. Um, some of you may cringe like I did before when I said your person, right? But sometimes we have to feel those things and we have to be able to purge those things and have those difficult conversations and have these epiphanies and have these opportunities to heal after creating endings that are necessary. All right. So hopefully this reading resonated with you guys. If you enjoyed it and you want to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my information in the description box below. Other than that, Libra, I love you and I will see you again soon. Bye.